All right. So everybody be want. I said everybody be. Everybody want me to react to this Chris Brown shit. I would, but I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas, bro. Look, I gotta get up off here because of my daughter. I gotta take her to school in the morning. I really wanna. Man, look, I wanna keep streaming. I'm not gonna hold y'all niggas, bro. But I do gotta take my daughter to school in the morning, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, bro. Real quick, do it. Y'all think I should do it or what? Cause like no bullshit, bro. I don't wanna end the stream, Tech dog. One was all thirty when those dropped. I don't want to end the stream, bro. But y'all know I got to take this little girl to school in the morning. I dead don't want to end the stream, man. I dead don't want to end the stream, bro. Do the breezy song. All right, hold on. Let me look up Chris Brown. Weakest Link. All right, all right. It's Weakest Link. All right, bet. All right, bet. We about to listen to Chris Brown, Weakest Link. All right, we about to listen to Chris Brown, Weakest Link. All right. At DSG, we about to listen to Chris Brown, Weakest Link. We about to see if C. Breezy really dissed this nigga for real. We about to see that. We about to see if Chris Breezy really came through with a real life diss that we need to hear. You feel me? Because, like, that nigga, no, I ain't like these niggas. It was bullshit. They ain't really on that. I need to hear a nigga that's really on that. Chris Brown, please don't disappoint me. All right, so look, right? We about to listen to Chris Where's Brown. Where's the N-words? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. We about to listen to Chris Brown. Yo, uh, yo, King Swan, my nigga, thank you for you the 24. My nigga, I need to hear buzz years. like thank this. You, if you sluice some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap. If you what? The hell? All right. DSG, let's go ahead and watch this. We got Chris Brown, the weakest link. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and see what Chris Brown was talking about. Heard he's dissing Quavo. Now, we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Let's see hey, what we're doing. I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Like, please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? I thought a nigga was going to be singing. He actually rapping. Who wants smoke with C? Who wants... Who wants smoke with me? Who wants... Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripped in red. Don't let this R&B shit fool you niggas. Get ripped to shreds. You dripped in red. All right, we got to start off with that. The only reason why I got to start off with that is because Chris Brown, dead ass. You got rich and famous, moved to L.A., and then became a blood. I don't respect that, regardless. Yo, Chris Brown, I fuck with you a long way. You know, you know what I'm saying? No homo, nigga. But, like, I fuck with you. But, like, yo, and you one of the goats, my nigga. But, like, yeah, that was that was just some lame shit. To do to become rich and famous and then you know what I'm saying switch to be in the blood is crazy. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to Woo! Saying that nigga name straight up. Let's go. On B shit, fool, you niggas get ripped to shred. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Up. This is a diss. This is how you diss a nigga, bro. This is how you diss a nigga. Yeah, you fucked my ex, but I fucked your bitch while you was with her, nigga. That's why I fucked your bitch, you dread-headed motherfucker. You talking, you ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Because I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch. Nah, how I do that? How I do that? How I s That's how y'all know I know music. That's how y'all know I know music. How I do that right at the perfect time? How I do that at the perfect time? Stop playing with me, nigga. How I do that at the perfect time, nigga? Stop playing with me. Where's Y'all gotta know words? I know music. My nigga, Mr. Banging Lane, nigga. Thank you for the four months, bro. Appreciate that, my nigga. Thank you for the four months. I'm sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. Woo! I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas, I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste, that's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in okay. your music trash. Fashion week, they set me. You a bitch in your music. See? Bro, y'all. Kendrick Lamar and Drake ain't call each other bitches yet. 
Come on, dog. Bitches on the elevator, we seen the taste that's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough, yeah. Chris Brown, I just gotta say thank you before we continue. Thank you. This is a diss track. This is letting me know these niggas could've it could have been on site. These niggas could have fought. Some harm could have come to these niggas. This is what I like to hear. Out. But the thing is, you do got to understand, like I said, this is modern day beef. You have to know back in the day, if you were to say this to somebody like 50 Cent or Ja Rule, you kind of have to back that up. You feel me? You have to back that up. This nigga Top RJ said, ugh, why you want that? Because unlike you... I ain't grew up in this soft ass generation where all you niggas think that you can say whatever the fuck you want online and on diss tracks and everything and not get smacked in your fucking mouth, nigga. That's the reason why. Uh, can you say that? Would you want that? Because you niggas nowadays are bitches and you niggas nowadays, swear to God, you can say whatever the fuck you want online with no consequences. You niggas nowadays are so bitch made, bro. That's why y'all love the Kendrick and Drake beef because you get it's guaranteed nothing's going to come from that. You niggas nowadays are so bitch made. Most of you niggas online, y'all are bitches, bro. That's the reason why all y'all niggas are some hoes, nigga. Y'all niggas raised on Call of Duty Where's lobbies, the nigga. -words? Nigga, you was raised in a lobby on Discord. All your friends on Discord. You able to say whatever. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And that fucking man. Fuck this and that. Because you get to be with whoever the fuck you want to be online. And in real life, you're a bitch. You's a whole bitch. Nothing but a bitch. That's why I fuck with this. That's why I want that. Because you niggas nowadays are so bitch made that you just swear to God you can say whatever the fuck you want at any given moment. Why you think y'all niggas talk the way y'all do on Twitch? Why you think y'all niggas talk the way y'all do on Twitter? On Instagram and shit like that. Like it's called random niggas bitches you don't even know. Shit like that, bro. Niggas coming at niggas crazy as shit online. You know why y'all niggas do that shit? Because y'all niggas know damn well, you know, consequences behind it. Nigga, I have never known about a VPN until I became a content creator. You niggas know about that because you got to hide everything going on with your life. Because, you know, in your real life, if anybody find out the bitch ass nigga that you are, you're going to get your ass whooped, nigga. That's why. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with all of this bitch ass shit y'all niggas on, bro. A lot of y'all niggas be some bitches, bro. That's the reason why, nigga. That's exactly why. And now I'm like Deborah if Cox, because how we even get here? Ah! Am I a bitch? How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't know you in real life to know if you a bitch. You know what I'm saying, bro? In real life, who the fuck knows? Bro, in real life, you find a nigga that'll bitch me. I don't play like that. Niggas I know don't play like that. We don't get bitched. Nobody bitch us. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't go around just trying to bitch niggas, bro. If a nigga gonna even try us, bro, it's like, yo, whatever gonna come with that is gonna come with that, bro. But yeah, man, that's the reason why you don't Do like you need the fact money. that I want this. Shout out to JD for getting his master's degree. Congratulations, my Grigger. DSG is proud of you, bro. Real SHTT, brother. Hold on, hold on. Where's hold on. the N words? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo. Yo, JD Quattro, my nigga, thank you for the 15 months. Yo, bro, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because when Hezekiah said that, I dead thought he was talking about the nigga JD I beat up. Bro, I dead thought he was talking about him. Dog, I was about to say, yo, Hezekiah, how did you know that? And I thought the nigga was in there commenting. Because I was about to say, you remember when I beat that nigga ass? I was about to say, JD, if you ain't here right now, you know when I beat your ass, bro. And he's an R and B singer and dancer. Nah, I was about to say... So he, so he could tell y'all about how words will really get your ass caught up. You know what I'm saying? He got his ass beat up because he couldn't stop talking. Nigga wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'm over there like, yo, stop, bro. You're doing too much. Shut the fuck up. Stop talking. I thought you was talking about him. Because Hezekiah, you saw how many times. Every time he's been there, I told y'all. That's the thing. Yo, JD, if you ain't right now, you know it. You know what I'm JD Films, if you ain't right now, you know it, bro. You remember? I don't got no problem telling everybody I whooped your ass because you know I did. I beat the hell out of you. If you you do you do the thing that you know, what you gonna do? Ain't nothing you could do to me now. I'll still beat your ass again. Even worse. You know that. Come on, dog. But yeah, you get it. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, yeah, but ban my nigga ban. Thank you for the thirteen months too. JD Quattro, congrats on your masters, bro. For real, congrats. 
But I did thought he was talking about somebody different. I was about to say, yeah. I thought he was talking about the other JD. I was about to say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I beat your ass already, so you already know better than play with me like that. But all right. Face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I woulda broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talking about drugs. You the only pack that I've been smoking on. <laughs> Quit talking about drugs. You the only pack I've been smoking on. But what about you? Been? <laughs> what about that though? Heard your ass can snort a mountain, nigga. Heard you, motherfucking. Uh, I was about to say Tony Stark, Tony Montana out here. Chris, stop playing. I heard your ass can a whole key, my nigga. You know, man, stop playing, Chris. Uh, tell them come back. I'm going to need more than one. Uh -huh. Your last album was a weed trade. Just some bullshit that we roll up on. <laughs> Hold on, Cass. You said they quant the parents. Now I know that nigga feel invincible when it comes to the ops. <laughs> the hands. Nah, nah, nah. They don't. My size don't mean anything. Um, Yo, Cassie, I've been trying my hardest to maintain 200. It's hard as shit. I got to pick random days of the week to eat a lot of food. Like, it's it's not easy at all. Don't get it twisted. That's why the 200 don't look like it's straight muscle. That's why, because it's hard as hell to maintain 200. Bro, I will be 203 pounds and then the next day 196. It's hard as shit to maintain this. I pick two days of the week to just eat a whole bunch of food and don't really do that much. It's hard as hell to maintain 200. Dog, I already know. But put it like this: by June 1st, I'm not gonna be 200. I'm 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 projecting myself to be around 190, uh, probably even 185 or 189 by uh, motherfucking um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, by June 1st. Because it's hard as hell to maintain this. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. RIP, take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died. Nah, we can't say that. We can't say that. drop weight easily. I remember them days. So you know it, Mzuda. That shit is hard as hell to maintain weight, bro. <laughs> like, nigga. Like, like, I already know. No. Yo, uh, Scalp, I'm not doing any more consultations right now, bro. If, if y'all need any uh, advice, just ask me while I'm streaming. As long as, you know what I'm saying, it's not giving too much advice that people have paid for, I'll give you that. Because by all means, I will just give y'all the people that I learned from myself. Y'all can go research it yourself. When I tell y'all right now, the way I'm able to gain my gains that I'm gaining right now, it's just because I'm paying attention to exercise science. That's it. Once you pay attention, it's very easy. But anyways... What you just said, RIP, take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. This is a diss. This is a diss track. Whew. Whew. Yo, who said, I'm taking you and sending yours with you? Yo, who was it that made a diss track and said, Try to take me from my family? I'm taking you and sending yours with you. Oh, y'all don't. Whew. That was light show. Y'all don't even know about that. Try to take me from my family. I'm taking you and sending yours with you. <sighs> nigga. Nigga. Y'all niggas don't know about that. No. That was light show. DC nigga. I completely forgot. Try to take me from my family. I'm taking you and sending yours with you. <sighs> nigga. You tripping Chris. Don't say off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping Chris. Don't say that. Don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas. Never knew revenge. Oh. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. Yeah. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring nigga. Big Ooh. fuck you from my middle finger. Yeah. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting nigga. I ran your ass through the ringer nigga. You just got body by a singer nigga. Who want smoke with me? Who want smoke with me? Who want smoke with me? Who want smoke with C? Who want, who want smoke with me? Out of every diss track I heard, this is the first real. This was, this was the realest diss track I heard. Yo, however y'all feels, however y'all feel, I'm gonna have to give this a big W. This is the biggest W we've had today. This is a real life diss track. This is how you diss a nigga. This is letting this. Be direct the as hell, words? letting this be known. I don't fuck with you, my nigga. Mag exotic, thank you for the fourteen months, bro. Yo, Chris. Shout out to Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying, VA nigga. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to him, Chris. I fuck with the diss track. You guys stop with that fruit town Piru shit or whatever the fuck you claim while you out there, bro. My nigga, you from Virginia. You know damn well that wasn't what you was on, and you a millionaire when you became a gangbanger. Stop with the. You banging red, you banging this, you banging that. You don't need to. 
bro, it's, you got too much bread to be sitting there doing that. You got too You're a goat. Like, bro, you're not a regular rapper. You're not a regular rap nigga that it's like, yo, bro, this nigga made it for the time. Like, say, you're not a comethazine type nigga. You're not a little pump type you nigga. You need some money. That's just here for the moment. This is a real You are disc. a real goat. This is the battle rap I was asking for. It is. It is. But, yo, Chris, as far as uh, the, the gangster shit, as far as the gang shit, yo, there's no reason for you to do that, bro. You're way too rich and famous. You're going to be known as a goat. You're going to be revered, bro. You're going to be a person that everybody will know for the rest of their lives, bro. I'm talking about you're, you will be in history like Michael Jackson. There's no need for you to be gangbanging. The fuck you banging Fruit Time Pyro? When, that, when have you had to go out there on a the block and bang with them niggas, bro? You ain't never had to do that. If you never had to do that with them niggas, then why the fuck you over there claiming it, bro? What you need to claim it for protection? Where's the N words? For, where you can pay for security, bro. My nigga Lord Ketsukami, my nigga, thank you for the 20 months, bro. Appreciate that. But yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, was it Pyro or was it Fruit Time? Whatever, uh, I don't know what Chris Brown banged, but whatever it is that he banged, you're banging a gang in Los Angeles, bro. You're, you're banging a gang in LA. You are not in you you not from LA. You're from Virginia, bro. What are you, Tappahannock? I'm a country boy from Tappahannock. He from Tappahannock. You're from Tappahannock, bro. Shut your fat ass up. From one half nigger to another, this shit was fire. Side note, please, the gang shit isn't from even cool. That's like me claiming mob ties just because I'm Italian Lamau. That's what I'm saying, bro. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm dead trying to like, look out. Like, dog, on some real shit. Chris, there's no reason for you to sit there and bang a gang, bro. No reason for you to be banging a gang, bro. Like, you have no reason to do that shit. You are a nigga that has real money. Real fame, real success. Like, bro, you're a goat in what you do. Please, just say that. Michael Jackson didn't have to be involved in the fucking gang. You're on his level. Come on, man. But yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, y'all gotta understand, I'm not for the I'm not for the dumb shit when you have that much money and fame. Like, y'all gotta understand. Like, say for instance, a nigga like let me think of a rapper that's not going to be around for too long, bro. He's not a goat. What's a rapper that's... Like, okay, Fulio. The Julio Fulio nigga. I expect a nigga like that to be banging and do what he keep doing. You feel me? Yo, this is a nigga that's not going to be nothing in 10 years. Who the fuck is going to care about him? Nobody cares about him now. All right, if he get the banging, it is what it is, bro. But like, yo, Chris, you're a fucking goat. That's like Drake with the mob ties and shit. You, there's no need for that when y'all niggas are niggas that are going to be revered, bro. Y'all are niggas that are going to be, you know what I'm saying, in Hall of Fames and shit. Like, there's no reason for y'all niggas to do the banging, bro. MJ had a bunch of crips around him, didn't he? Yo, Big Juan, I'm talking about you never heard him saying, yo, this is what I bang. You ne Like, Chris Brown is dead ass banging either Pyro or Fruit Town. I know, no, I think it was Soldier Boy banging Fruit Town. And Chris is banging Pot Rue. And it's like, dog, why y'all banging? Like, bro, and, and you got to understand. In, in Virginia, niggas, it's certain niggas that bang. But it really ain't, it ain't like real shit where it's like colors to where niggas going, ask you where you from about a color, bro. Niggas don't do that around here. Like, anybody in who, who from the DMV in general could tell you. Niggas don't ask you where you from because you wearing a certain color. Niggas, that, niggas not doing that. Like, in L.A. and all the other shit, you can die behind that. Like, on some real shit, you could die behind that. You know what I'm saying? Like, in Chicago, you could really die behind being from somewhere. Not in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Not in Virginia. You don't die because, oh, you from here and here's your color. You don't die because of that. It's no blocks that's banging a certain gang in Virginia. It's not a whole block doing it. It may be certain groups. And shit like that, but it's not a whole block where you like, yo, this whole block, this and that, this block, this, this block, that. Ah, right, you go on this block, you might die. No, it's not it's not like that in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Niggas talking about uh Chief Keep and shit. Yeah, bro. Where Chief Keep is from, that's where they really do that at. And that BD and G D shit is real. Niggas really die behind that. But I'm saying, like, not in Virginia. And in 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 say for instance, look, in in uh Chicago, I ain't from Chicago. So is it more so colors or is it more so the blocks? I ain't from Chicago. Anybody who's from Chicago, let me know. I think it's more so the blocks, right? You know what I'm saying? Is it more yeah. Is it more so the blocks? 
I'm man, I'm talking about a nigga who from Chicago, man. Who really from there? Cause I see a lot of y'all niggas sitting there faking. I'm not I'm not talking about niggas faking it. It's blocks and shit, yeah. That's what I figured. I figured it was from Chicago. I said I figured I mean I figured it was blocks out there in Chicago. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But around here though, niggas don't be you can't go on a block and black everybody blood here. Everybody crip. Everybody folk. Everybody G D, B D, all this other shit. They don't happen around here. Didn't the Chief Keith get banned from Chicago? Yo, D Dog, he don't go back there because he don't need to. The thing is this, D Dog, I want you to think about this, right? Niggas say he banned. Let's say he is. Who the fuck wants to go back to a poverty stricken, violent, violence riddled place? Where's the N word? Who wants to go back to that? Yo, PKSL, thank you for the 18 months, bro. Appreciate that, my motherfucking nigga. But who the hell wants to do that? You got to really think about that. If you making as much money as him and you made it out of that, who the fuck wants to go back to that? That's why when niggas like Meek Mill say shit like, I'm good in my hood, I can go back. I hate that shit. This shit's no stupid as shit. Oh, I can go back to a poverty-stricken area where I can die at any moment. Oh, I can go back there to a poverty-stricken area and flex on niggas. Think about this, bro. Niggas go back there with all of this jewelry and everything and all of these foreign cars and shit. You don't think niggas be like, yo, damn, you can come back here anytime you want. And I got to live here and um, I could die at any moment. I live here. Look at these other niggas. Yo, I can go back to my hood. I bet you go back to your hood. You post up with 30 niggas. Do you need to? Out of those 30 niggas, you keep two or three with you for real in real life. From. Not about the other 28 story. niggas can die. Throw it up type music back then. Have you in the club with what hood you were from? Damn, shit. Do you need some money? Before you head out for the night. I gotta get Where you get shirts shit. again and fits again. Forgot to save <laughs> the website last time I asked. Bro, I get my shirts from Marshalls, bro. It's William Rast. I, t I tell you, this nonstop. I don't know if your niggas don't believe me or something. Oh, it broke. I was wondering. Oh, my Goku shit broke. I was wondering why the shit kept leaning like that. Shut, Shut your, your bitch ass, ass up before I get to talking shit about you. I'm about to say, why the fuck did I do all that? Uh, where's my Goku's fucking stand? I got a stand for this nigga, bro. Damn, Goku. Well, it is what it is, man. But yeah, man. Um, I don't, I don't fuck with that banging shit at all. I don't fuck with that shit. Do you need some money? On the real, can you imagine getting robbed by Chris Brown? Dead outside, sue him for emotional trauma. Why? Well, ain't no fucking way, boy. Come Chris Brown? one man that cost a pretty penny. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Like. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that straightened out because uh, that kind of blew me. I'm not going to lie. I got to I gotta get my stand for the Goku shit because I don't know where that shit is, but it's somewhere on this desk. I don't know where it is. Somewhere around here. That kind of pissed me off. I had that Goku for so long. Vegeta. Now, if I, if I break this... Oh, it's a wrap. If I break the Vegeta, it's a wrap. 